um, I think Steve Jobs said something, and it's going to be a, a horrible paraphrasing quote, that if you find yourself waking up too many days in a row and not being excited and enjoying what you are going to do that day, uh, do something else. Uh, the last few weeks I haven't been on the video. Uh, part of it's been fun, part of it hasn't been fun. Uh, we have been renovating uh, two apartments into one. My oldest daughter's moving out, and so uh, we took and absolutely out of two apartments and one empty room in the apartment complex, uh, we have created a really cute one-bedroom apartment. And you go down a half a level, you come into the living room, which we used to be the old laundry room in this apartment complex. And it's kind of outdated because they had a drying machine in there. Now people have uh, tumblers, dryers uh, in their apartments. But uh, I get to go over there today. Uh, and that was that phrase I um, got from uh, my clinician in my internship in Chicago, uh, Dr. Allison Henson one time, he told me to do something. I said, do I got to do that? And he said, no, you get to do that, Mackenzie. He said, think of the difference. And all I was telling him, I said, you know, I, you don't have to do it. You get to do it. This is a privilege. You're a doctor. This is what you get to do. And I thought, oh, okay, there's, there's a big difference. But uh, I had to go put up two pieces of trim today. Uh, to kind of finish off my job on the, I worked with great, what the, was called Mitarbeiters here, uh, co-workers. Uh, one is a full carpenter, uh, room fitter, he's from our village, he comes in and he laughs and he looks at what I do and he says, hmm, it's Halbschrieber, which means half a carpenter. And some of the stuff he look, he said, that's a little more than a half, half a uh, Schrieber. I looked at two joints, some joints that I put on the stairwell, and he said, Moh. He said, this is so hard to do. And I said, oh, yeah. There was a lot of swearing around this, and a lot of it was just luck. I got the miter saw exactly right, and a lot of it was just luck. But but uh, looking at it, um, like I said, two more pieces of trim, and my job is done, and my daughter's absolutely delighted with her first living area. Uh, people are going, go, oh, man, we didn't think you could do this. The people who live in the building... Uh, one lady's been there 17 years in the same apartment and she came up and she walked through and she said I just she said I couldn't imagine what you were thinking now it's not my thinking I did most of the grunt work but the point of this video is I get to do things right? I got to be a renovator for uh, two months now I can't say every minute was fun it was frustrating my hands hurt I had cuts and bruises and bleeding and things I couldn't sort through, but, but the apartment looks really good. It's a mix of the new and the old. Um, I may do a video and walk you through the apartment. I don't have befores, but, but uh, if you don't like what you're doing, quit. If you don't know what to do, uh, consider doing a class with me. Uh, what I learned 20-some years, 24, 25 years ago, is that there is a mechanism out there that leads you to your own magnificence, and I discovered it. And I show people how to utilize it. So have a fun life. Have a great life. Uh, and we'll talk to you soon. www.micpeakperformance.com